So, what is the meat spear? It's a sandwich. <laughs> All right. What kind of sandwich? It's a sandwich with a lot of meat. <laughs> it's got cheese. <laughs> grade A Angus beef. I don't actually think it's grade A. <laughs> uh, well, the meat spear is a triple baconator, which actually they don't sell anymore, uh, doubling the meat. So six patties, bacon, ketchup, etc., etc. Now, this thing's a monster, and I've never had it myself, but I've seen two people attempt it. Actually, no. No, I only saw Tyler attempt it. I don't think I saw Brenner. But two, I've heard of two people that attempted it. I might vomit. I might want to afterwards. <laughs> Is it too much? It's not too much yet, but it, it will be. That's why you gotta finish it now. He's not in pain yet. <laughs> Stop sucking him out! What does it taste like? Hey Gary, what does it taste like? You got um like motherfucking hot sex. Oh. Oh. No. No. Spencer! Look at <laughs> Spencer! <laughs> Are you recording now? Yeah. This is part of the documentary? Yeah, I'm gonna ask you a few silly things. Lucas, what are your opinions of this occurring in your car? I just wanna let Tyler know he's a good friend of mine and I will sorely miss him. Alright. He still hasn't paved this driveway. Nope, uh, he never will. This is. This isn't as bad as before when I came a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Actually. Oh, when it was so icy? Yeah, and like there was snow everywhere. Like it's starting to melt now, but oh god, hold on, my car's Oh, here working. we go. Oh, look at this. Look at that ice just glazed over. Well, it can't, it's too glary. I know. What's it like living in this town? Um, especially in high school. In high school, it's kind of boring. Usually, our uh, weekly activities would include Going to the movies, eating ice cream, or uh, chilling at a, uh, well not me personally, but maybe chilling at a uh, McDonald's picnic bench, but you know, it's not that much to do in uh, good old North Brantford. Sometimes we would go to uh, the town over and uh, chill at a Target, but you know, that's what happens when you live in North Brantford. Go to the post office. There's a dog here, Tyler. Just run it over. <laughs> what? Can I go? Okay. Yeah, she'll move or she'll die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> god! So, about that running tomorrow? What was it like growing up in this town? Oh, it was pretty good. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Not really much else to say other than that. <laughs> the post office is closed. <laughs> uh, what about your uh, high school experience? Wasn't bad. <laughs> Graduated like top 10 percentile, I think. Went you on. Think? A, you went, think? I think. <laughs> well, I got in the I got into college based off my SAT scores, pretty much. Why did you decide to order it that one night? Um, probably because it was just a thing, you know? <laughs> it was the thing to do. So Sometimes. if memory serves, you wanted to go eat at the Thai place that night, and no one else wanted to, and you were mad. So you ordered the meat spear out of spite. That's quite possible. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. We need intermission. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Yo, get to work. Get to work. I wouldn't finish that. that fucking beeping off. I can't finish it. Yeah, you can, man. You got this. Yeah, I can. You got this. I believe in you. Come on. Make vegetarians vomit everywhere. By actually no, vomiting. Do it. do it. Tyler. Do it. Here's Go. The Here's the napkins. Go. so much. Here's the napkins. Stop! <laughs> What was it like eating it in the backseat of Luke's car? <laughs> it was gross. <laughs> it wasn't very warm. They put way too much cheese on it. <laughs> it was not enjoyable. So I'm guessing it's a very regrettable experience. Yeah, I felt a little sick. <laughs> um, probably wouldn't do it again. I haven't done it since. <laughs> Yo, what happened there? You want me to throw it out, Tyler? I don't know, man. Right, I tried to push it, but Spencer. then my body just... To death. My body just you gave want to up and said no out. more. Spencer, I didn't actually... Uh, Do you think there'll be, a, you think there'll be a round two? Didn't actually vomit. But I can feel really... I feel really greasy now, and my stomach is just like... No. Not enough. No. Do you think you'll have another take another shot at it? I mean, maybe at a later date. I don't know, man. Look how much is left. That's like half. Dude. That's like a that's like a whole third left. That's like another one. After just a few minutes and with only half of the burger remaining, Tyler gave in and failed the meat spear challenge. But from this failure, a legend was born. It was only a matter of time before the video started to generate buzz. Shortly after the original video was posted onto Facebook, others wanted to take on the challenge themselves. What was it like um, watching Brenner do it? It was pretty fun, actually. That boy had a lot of tenacity. <laughs> Dude, that guy was epic too. But, like he's skinny too, so it, like looked hard. For him. <laughs> almost like see the pain with everybody. We all kind of knew from the beginning that Alex's attempt at the meat spirit was going to be something special. As the legend usually goes, it was a dark and stormy night, and it seemed like the forces of the universe were trying to prevent us from even starting it. The first restaurant we went to, Flower refused to make the sandwich, so we had to look elsewhere. And worse yet, the memory card in my camera ran out of space right towards the conclusion. But even with that, after nearly an hour, Brenner completed the Meat Spear Challenge and claimed victory. Yeah, what was like your favorite part of that one? Probably the perfectly timed lightning in the <laughs> back. <laughs> oh god. Brenner, this is your battle. This is a battle. Oh! Exactly. Special. Unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts mostly on my own part, I was not able to secure an interview with Brenner in the time before this release. While mostly due to our huge conflict within schedules, as he is studying full time at Brandeis University, several states away, it may also be that since I graduated high school, we all grew apart over the years. For the time being, his legend lives on in the footage. Alex proved that it could be done, but others thought they could do it better. Ugh. Okay, so why do you need new pants? I kind of want to know this. Oh, uh, because my roommate has gotten tired of the uh, ridiculous state of my pants. I have not bought new pants in years, and so uh, Wait, they're a little... Have those torn the fuck up jeans from high school? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, what about uh, Gary's run? Gary's Gary run? I kind of figured he'd be able to do it. You know? Did he do it? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh. He did it. He did it, and he did it easily. Runner was a stick. Gary was more like me. You might need a regular size. So, what was it like growing up in our town, North Brantford? Um, I mean, I came to North Brantford late. I moved there when I was like in sixth grade, so I was like twelve. It was boring as shit. Let's say. Uh, we had to come up with our own fun all the time. Like the, 
the cool kids would go get drunk in the fields and ride ATVs around and be fucking idiots. Um, but us, like our group of friends and the people we had to hang around with, we did whatever we wanted, which usually ended up with like card games and swimming and silly shit like that. Yeah. Now, did you first know about the Mii Spirit Challenge from Tyler's video or from Brenner's video? Uh, I learned about it the day after Brenner did it. Uh, so before his video went up, but after he had done it, uh, he told me about it in one of our classes, uh, cause he looked like he was going to die. Um, and was like, yeah, Spence, Lucas and myself did this. Or no, it was, uh, you, Michael and Brenner, wasn't it? Yeah. It was, and Tyler was there too. And Tyler. Yeah. Um, well, whatever. He was like, yeah, it's us chuckleheads went and did this thing. And I was like, that sounds stupid. And then I watched Tyler's video and was like, that seems stupid. And then I watched Brenner's video and went, I could beat that. <laughs> Brenner, you ready to watch this? I'm ready to watch Gary suck. <laughs> yeah. But that's not really much different than what he does every day. So. Bets I'm, have I'm, been placed. I'm, all right. He's going halfway. That's it. Bets have been placed. All right. Ten to one odds he fails. If he. Now, why exactly did you want to one-up Brenner for that? Uh, Because it's Brenner. Uh, and because I wanted to take some of the wind out of his sails and take the plaque home for fat guys everywhere. <laughs> what specifically did you add on to it? So, Brenner told me that in order for me to both beat his time, so his time was what, 44 minutes, 45 minutes? Yeah, I think so. Um, he told me I had to beat his time. I had to add a layer of chicken on top of it, so I just got one of the $1 chicken sandwiches from Wendy's and threw that on top. Um, a row of french fries. I made the bet beforehand, and uh, looking back on it, in high school I had a habit of making really stupid bets. <laughs> that if I both beat his time and didn't die, I would have a milkshake with it. Uh, and then had that as well. And that was dumb. <laughs> yeah. That was, it was really dumb. Because I finished it, I finished it before we left the restaurant. Stack that in. Oh, I feel like it would be easier just to eat it in pieces. It's like you eating Jabba the Hutt. Totally. Oh, it's like Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the slut. Jabba the slut. You're eating Jabba the slut. How are you doing? I love the vulgar language near children. Yeah, yeah. seriously, guys. I'm gonna turn it down. Love the little one. You're gonna keep your mouth closed. I think he felt really confident. Do you more water here? Oh, no, you're good. He's gotten to the slow. Hey, Robo, the weird thing about yours is that there was a much la larger crowd than Brenner's oh, and yeah. Tyler's. Oh, yeah. There was, like, what, eight or nine people watching me? Yeah. Um, what do you think was more difficult? The sandwich itself or the fact that everyone was heckling you the entire time? The heckling. It was 100% the heckling. Uh, I, Brenner and I talked about this over the years that if other people weren't there, if it was just like him with the sandwich or me with the sandwich, we could have either of us finished that in like 20 minutes, like tops, mm. but the heckling and the need, like, th let's be honest, Brenner and I are both, we both play to the camera. Um, we're two people who like to enjoy, who like to get other people to enjoy what we're doing. Mm. So there was, there was theatrics in mine, there's theatrics in his, he falls out of the fucking chair. I almost pass out. Um, so I think that if I it was just me and the sandwich, uh, I would have been fine. Do you want the fries too, or just the sandwich? Just the sandwich. You recording? Yeah. Is this gonna be on the documentary, or just the part where I order? Um, I don't know. How about all of it? Hi, can I get uh, three Baconator sandwiches? Okay. Uh, that's it. Your total is 20 dollars Thanks. You're welcome. I just say plain and light lemonade on there. Why did the meat spear exist? Why did a bunch of high school kids become so encapsulated with six all-American beef patties, cheese, and bacon at a fast food restaurant? Why did they feel they had to prove themselves? It was because we had nothing better to do. 
nothing else to do with our free time after we were free from class. It was also because we wanted to be a part of something special. Something that we could always remember, either in happiness or recoil. It was because we wanted to create our own legacy and forge our own legend.